Hi guys, hi from Vitamil. This week we're reviewing the Geek Vip Ages X. The Ages X. Quite a big box. Time to prove that. Obviously, the boxing is just standard boxing. Bigs up the mod and stuff. Crack it open. Drop it out. And there we're greeted with the mod. I thought it was a massive mod, but it's not really any bigger than the uh, normal Aegis. Of course, when you got your camera on back or whatever, just pattern you choose. But the only difference between this and the Aegis, from what I can see so far, is instead of a screen being here, it's here. So the pattern only goes halfway around. Inside, what we got? Spare rings, us, quite a lot in there. Micro USB charger, really annoys me, as you should know by now. Spare glass. They are spare waterproofing, like for the charging port, and a spare coil. We've also got the manual, and a spare, spare protection sheet for the screen, it's quite nice. Little packet inside here. I imagine is your manufacturer stuff. Purchase information, warranty card, advertisement card, warning card, and then we've got a tank. Very small tank. Sweet, up it is. How does that open? Two quite decent sized holes. Cracking. I'm not going to fill it up now because I'm off if we're doing the flavour review and I'm probably going to use my own flavours. But there you go. Put that on for you. Beautiful. What more can you ask for? So size wise we've got 9cm by 12cm, 5.6 by 3.1 centimeters. It's powered by two 18650 batteries. Beautiful. Bang them back in. Oh, and I'll probably mention as well at this point of the locking mechanism. It's one of those, it's just one prong that slides in and out. Which I don't think is that bad because obviously if it it's alright, it's good. It's got a 2.4 inch OLED screen. It's got the new AS 2.0 chipset. It does general coils and it does temperature control for nickel, stainless steel and titanium. Powers at 5 watt to 200 watt. Also does 200 to 600 Fahrenheit. 0 0.05 ohms all the way up to 3 ohms. It's got active battery balance charging, which might not mean too much, and I had tested it because I never charge my batteries via the mod. I always charge them on a charger, just because most mods don't look after your batteries. Now, if the active balance battery charging works, that means you can look after your batteries, you don't need a charger. You might say, yeah, but Harley, my mod's got a charging bit. But anyway, doesn't matter, you should really, especially if you've got dual batteries, you really should be charging them via a charger instead. But with this, if it works like it says it says it does, then you should be alright. So, boom. It's got VPC, variable power curve. Now, I understand that some of you might use it frequently, but for me, it's just a really good fun toy. I do like to put my battery wattage curve down to 500, 500, 500, just so it goes <laughs> while you're vaping it, because that's really fun. And it really does trip people out as well, it's really great fun. 
But it's got that and I think it's a great feature to have. I don't use it, I can imagine some people might use it. Especially if you're using it properly like 60-50 or slowly curving the way up. It's not something that I use often though, I just like my straight raw power. It's got resistance and puff reset. Puff reset is not really that much of a feature, they've all got puff reset features. Now I'm going to show you how to use it because it can be a little bit complicated, lots of features and stuff. So, here we go, press it three times. Press it, yeah, there you go. Now you've got your mode sets. So let's go back to one, set that. Power, VPC, bypass, stainless steel temperature control, nickel temperature control, titanium temperature control. All happy days. Powerful, soft, standard. Powerful, because I'm that kind of guy. Puff, reset, boom. To toggle through the power set, uh, toggle through, you just press the fire button, and to leave the settings, you hold the fire button down until the current setting goes back to normal color. So, how do we lock it? Press and hold the plus and negative at the same time, it locks. Unlock it, access the menu, press it three times, I pressed it five times, power it back on, five clicks, press it three times, mine's not working because it's locked, so we unlock it again by pressing the minus and negative, the minus and positive sorry, press it three times since the power settings, I've locked it again. Right now we're into the power settings, as you can see it's toggling through the different settings. Press and hold the positive and negative at the same time. And there you go, we could change the theme. We could change the colour. Version information. Tell you about battery balance off, which I don't understand why you'd want to do. But if you do, you can. There you go. And then you can also reset the mod. So really quite simple, but if you don't know how, it can be quite baffling how to get into it. But that's how you do it. So my thoughts and my opinions. At first glance, right, obviously you can tell this is just the Aegis kit. And if I hold it like this, you'll probably think it's just the Aegis kit. But it's not true, because it's got that massive screen on the other side. Hey. <sighs> Now, at first glance, I thought the screen's a bit pointless and blank. It's, it's huge and it's great, but do we really need a huge screen? I've come to like it, to be fair. Kev did bring out a point of the day that Aegis is known for being shockproof and waterproof. Now, with a big screen, you have to wonder whether it's still shockproof, because screens aren't often that shockproof. I have dropped mine softly a few times and it hasn't broke. That's not really testing it, I know. But I don't want to break it because I want you to win it in the giveaway, so... Sorry. Maybe I'll do a compatibility comparison test one day. Who knows? Maybe when I win lottery. Like the Aegis kit, it feels really good in the end. Happy days. The tank. This little thing here. First of all, I tried it with a Naked Unicorn, if you want to know about the Naked Unicorn, crack over to my Naked 100 review that I did last week. And it was crap, we were barely any flavour, nothing. Now that's more of a custardy, vanilla -y sort of taste. So then I banged some Cushman banana in it, and it's there, you can taste the fruits really well. So, for my eyes, the tank's really good for fruity flavours, menthol flavours not so much, and cakey flavours not so much. I do like the off-turn locking system and the fill holes on the tank. There you go. Happy fucking days. And that's what we talk about, really. Ah, there is one more thing. If I can't show you. But if you stand your tank down like that, uh, mod like this, and it's also safe for the ages, you stand it down like that, it will automatically fire. There's that much weight on the button, and because it's balanced quite well, it does fire if you stand it like that. 
And if you put it down gently, it might not. But if you drop it, it'll balance like that and it will fire. Which is not a great thing for all those of you that forget to turn it off and put it in your handbag or your pocket. So just be cautious about that. Do I like it? Yeah. Is the screen necessarily? No, but it does look quite good. I've enjoyed using it, I really have. Uh, not one point have I gone, oh, 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 I don't like that. It's been quite good. But I don't think with mods, there's, there's not that much between them. You know what I mean? I, I don't think of a, there's very few bad mods. Some, some that break easy and blah, blah, blah. Some of the buttons aren't that reliable, nonetheless. But there's nothing about it that I kind of go, oh, I really don't like that feature. So, there you go. It's, and the tank's alright, the tank's now special. But I don't think you buy a kit for the tank, I think you buy a kit as a starter. So generally if I review kits, I focus more on the mod. And the tank, if it's released, like the uh, Snow Wolf one. The Snow Wolf kit, the tank is absolutely awful. The mod's alright-ish, but the tank's awful. On this, the kit tank's decent, it's not the best tank on the market. But I think it's really hard to get a really good tank these days. There's probably 10, and the others are not really there. Let's talk about the giveaway. Now, in a turn of complete irony, the winner of the D2 Vozzle Pods is my good friend, I think, probably, fan, I don't know, friend, we'll call you a friend, Matt, is Matt Stone. Now, if you can see here, the comment that Matt's won with is talking about how much he doesn't like pods. So, irony! Vega Matt, I'll contact you because I know who you are. I'll also probably comment, I don't know. I'll find a way of contacting you. However, this little beauty Geek Vape Ages X kit is now up for giveaway. Don't forget, all you have to do to be uh, in for a chance of winning is subscribe and comment below. Read the terms and conditions because it says things like you'll probably have to pay postage and I don't want you falling out on me because I tell you you have to pay postage. Simple. Don't forget guys, don't forget to subscribe, press the like button, thumbs up, ring a bell and most importantly, I can't stress this importantly enough, don't forget, stay cloudy!